All right, hello everyone. My name is Dennis and Dan, and welcome to March of War Face Off. Face Off is a card game that takes place in a sort of steampunk world, very similar to a World War II era type of setting. As you can see, the game is being developed by ISOTX, I Isotix, Isotex, Isotex, and it's currently in early access. Noteworthy is the price; it is free to play with an in-game uh, coin system, as you can see here. Uh, the game is also available on iOS and Android, and has been released, I think, a couple of months ago. But we are going to be playing in the PC version here, denoted by the uh, XL uh, that you can see here, and also uh, can see in the Steam store. So there you go. And according to the developers, the game is already in a fairly polished state. So let's hope that that is the case. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we got here. We start off by the options menu. Um, we've got an account, settings, just your usual stuff basically. Uh, these are the settings that we are using. The game is not graphically all that high fidelity, I think because it's coming from a mobile platform background. Uh, it has been polished up quite a bit, so that is good. Um, Actually, we are running on low resolution. Not sure why that is. Let's apply. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got a play button here that will bring you into a versus mode against a random player. I haven't uh, played around with this. You'll have to check it for yourself. Uh, whether there are many players online. But it's a free-to-play game, so that might as well be the case. Um, interestingly enough, this game, as you will probably notice once we st start getting into the game... Has a lot of similarities to Hearthstone by Blizzard. Um, probably aware of that. Such as this uh, enter the arena mode. You can even win 12 battles or lose 3. Which is, uh, I think, exactly the same as Blizzard's game. Uh, you've got a store here with card packs as well. Yeah, so it's basically... Um, and that's where you uh, spend your coins. And uh, what's, what's gems? what they called right and this is the prices for the gems you've got 500 gems for two euros 500 gems will buy you one pack there you go so it's uh, two euros for a pack basically um you've got unique card backs all that sort of stuff you can also spend your coins on that and your gems xp boost experience boost uh, so basically very well put together i suppose um if you're into that sort of stuff where you can uh, spend your money to uh, level up a bit more quickly or get some uh, cosmetic stuff. Very nice. Okay, so luckily for us, there's also a uh, ladder mode and a PvE mode. I think we'll just jump in um, the PvE mode and, uh, I don't know, set this to... Let's just set it to easy. I want to show you guys the game and uh, then you can uh, play it yourself. It's easily downloadable. It's only a gig in download size, so that's doable. Right, so let's jump in. Alright, so welcome to the battlefield here. As with the most card games, we now get to pick the cards that we would like to start with. Um, this is the uh, the cost that it costs to play that particular card. The manpower cost is called in this game. Similar to, for example, mana in Hearthstone. Um, so we will get rid of the cards that we can't use in the beginning anyway. Um, aside from that, we've also got the attack power of a unit. Which is two for this Africa core, for example. This is... Uh, the indication uh, where the unit can actually attack. So it's um, across to the left and across to the right. The movement square, so that's just straight forward, straight back with to the sides. And it's health as well. And I believe that this is the cost that it costs to actually make it attack. So that's one manpower as well. I think that's right. So uh, let's accept, accept these cards and then... Uh, here we go. The computer will get an additional manpower because uh, he's going to go second after us. And he also gets to pick an additional card, I believe. Okay, so this is the, the basic battlefield. And this is uh, also where similarities to, for example, uh, Hearthstone sort of uh, take a detour, I suppose. Because um, uh, we've got a, an actual battlefield on which we place the units uh, with a lot of squares as well. Um, this is our command center. This is their command center. The goal is to get the command center to zero HP. We do that by moving our troops on the battlefield. The closer we get, the more damage we do. So, for example, it starts here. You can see this arrow here. 
if we have one unit in this row that will do one damage to that particular uh, command center, <clears throat> excuse me, if we have multiple units, then that will do more damage to the command center. The closer we move to the command center, the more damage we do. Yeah, that's basically how it goes. Uh, of course, each card has a, a particular um, attack speed, as I said, attack um, power as well. And they've got some uh, special abilities here. For example, this one is fast. It says here, on the right, fast unit costs no um, manpower to move. Right. Okay, so... um. Let's see what it can do here. We'll just uh, drop this guy down, I think. One thing I did notice is that the sound quality of the game is not... Hmm, not super high quality, but I guess that's fine. Oh, it's your turn again? Okay, well that's fine. Um, so it's gonna cost us nothing to move this guy. So actually, I think... He can do damage, right? Yes. Or it's just a recon. Intimidate. This unit will debuff the attack of other units within its attack range by the amount specified. Passive ability. So I'm not sure if we c if we can attack with that dude. Um, I guess it's going to cost us one mana point to move this guy. So why don't we instead place these guys? I think that makes sense, right? No, it's not. Of course, no mana points to uh, because he's fast. So in that case, I think the red circle means that it's uh, one attack power. So this means that this guy will take two ma uh, manpower points to actually move, and will then do one damage to the cross to his cross, um, cross to the left and cross to the right. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's go. We are almost within damage range now. Computer isn't doing all that much. Okay, he has a jeep. I don't like jeeps. They are fast, so they don't cost any points to move. That's interesting. Okay. Um, we will probably just um, do an advanced deploy on this Storm Tiger. That's actually not what I wanted to place it. Oh, well. I'll just move you. And that's the end of the turn. And we will do the one damage, uh, I think, when our turn starts to the command center of the opponent. We've got a slow and an advanced deploy for the home guard. And that's his coin. And a medic, yeah. So this has happened to me before. Oh, actually. I was expecting him to place it behind the jeep. Okay, so we did one damage there. Add one HP to organics. Um, possibly could still do it, I don't know. Mm, so this is going to cost us quite a bit. Uh, let's see, what cards do we have? F uh, full reorganization. Target ally has their health and attack returned to initial, va initial values. Draw a card as well. Very interesting, but not very useful right now. Deal 2 damage to the target enemy unit. Could be good. Um, slow means unit costs 2 man man manpower to move. Okay. I'm gonna take this a bit more slowly than I did last time. Because I lost. Horribly. That's the objective, leads. lads. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think we'll just uh, deploy some dude here. And then move forward with this guy. And this guy as well. So now we'll be doing two damage to the command center of the enemy, I believe. No, three actually, because of this guy as well. Am I right? Let's take a look you know, when we get to our turn again. I've got your back. Okay, so he's now just uh, doing lots of uh, mechanic stuff. Yes, three damage. Very good. I think that is a, a good way to go here. Uh, so this guy actually does no damage now. That is interesting. That's because of our intimidate em enemies. Very good. And he probably can't move all that well. Okay, what can we do? I don't want to use this card just yet because of its uh, um, ability here. Draw a card is good, but it's uh, the other ability is not very useful right now. We've got the Parachute Brigade, Advanced Deploy, Annihilator. If this unit deals any damage, target will be killed. Right, so I think that's uh, similar to uh, Poison in Hearthstone, if you've played that. I just keep referring to Hearthstone because that's basically one of the only card games I have I've played, I must admit. Aside from Pokemon trading card game when I was like, 
I don't know, 12 years old. Long time ago. Um, let's see. Does not retaliate, though. That's interesting. Uh, might be good, actually. He can actually fire in three directions, so we might actually want to place him in the middle here. Although I don't like that this unit is not really going anywhere if we do. Still might be nice, though. Failure is not an option. Jawohl, Sturmtiger. Uh, no, we won't move you. You are perfect where you are. I think that's the only thing we can do. So let's end the turn. We are taking one domination damage now. Because of this jeep. Half track. Overrun. Does something after moving. Adjacent enemies suffer minus one attack for one turn. Ooh. Okay, we've got a railway gun. A railway. There we go. Uh, we can't use that yet. I like the... Uh, let's see. Tall boy bomb. Does 5 damage to target annihilator as well. Mm, not very impressive right now. Let's see. We've got a Stuka dive bomber. Command card one time use special power only. Yeah. Um, deal 2 damage to the target enemy unit. So there's, for example, this dude. Might be good to attack him, although he isn't very dangerous to us right now. I still think that might be nice. Let's use it. Missed. Let's try it again. We can do this. Place the card on the unit. Yes. Dead. Very good. And we'll move you uh, to advance as well. Can we do anything else? I don't think so, no. So we'll now be doing 4 damage to the enemy. At the end of our turn, at least. We are taking some damage because of the jeep, but it's actually not that bad. At once, sir. Let's go. At once, sir. At once, sir. So he's advancing now. Quite a bit. So he will be doing... Oh, re re uh, retaliate against that dude. Nine damage. Blitzkrieg. AoE, row. Allies advance one tile. It's all units in set area. So we can probably let all these units advance one tile. I'm not sure if that overrides where these dudes are. I'm guessing it's not going to do that. Mm, we could annihilate this one. Seems a bit of a waste to uh, use this card on a, a buffed two manpower card. Oh. Um, we've got the Surgeon Major. Assault, add shield to target ally. Organic and ability at 1 HP to ally organic. Might want to place him here. And then move you over there. And then over there. I'm guessing we are just going to move some troops forward here. To get some units uh, into range. Is this going to cost us one manpower to move? And you too? That is a shame. Because that means that we can't really do anything. We could try and attack with you. Uh, is that gonna cost us one mana point, I think? Manpower? Jeez. Let's see. We will be retaliated against. No, it didn't cost us anything. So I'm confused. I must admit. Um, so attacking doesn't cost you anything? Is that it? Mm. Doesn't really matter. Let's just advance here. And we are going to be doing 5 damage... If all our units survive, we are taking three damage now, which is uh, quite hefty as well, must admit. Sabotage, force enemies one a row back. Okay, that is annoying. Three domination damage in that case, six. Okay, so enemies take one damage and move back one tile. Allies move, move forward one tile. This might be good to defeat some of these dudes here. Should we try that? Let's just do it. Missed? Oh, it's actually this way. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, in that case, does it make sense to use it? I think it might. Let's just use it on this row. Bam! Very good. So we will now do 5 damage. Um, 
provided that we survive their attacks. So if we move this guy one up, we will do enough damage, six, to destroy him. Um, but that's only if we are not destroyed ourselves. We could just uh, do some damage here. No, we won't do any damage because if we do, then he can attack us in the next turn and then this tank will be dead. And we don't, do not want this tank to be dead because we need the domination, domination damage. So I think we'll just uh, leave it at this. Can we move anyone? No. Okay, end turn. We are slowly dying as well, but it should be fine. Let's hope that the computer doesn't have any AoE stuff. He's moving back. Churchill tank. Just a basic unit, it seems. Okay, so we did four demolition damage. Domination damage. We got a prototype sonic tank. Slow and an annihilator. Impressive. So our tank died. It's because of this dude, I think. That's sort of fine. Um, we could deal some damage to this dude. And to kill him. Might be good, I think. Bam. Then we'll move you up. So we've got five points of damage. A lot of overkill, but that's fine. Um, Blitzkrieg, AoE. Allies advance one town. How's that gonna work? In the row. Yes. Very good. So now we've got seven points of damage. Uh, I think we can kill you as well. Uh, should we move up? No, I don't think so, because I don't want you to kill us. And if we move here, then you can kill us. You can kill us, probably, but that's fine. Um, we could draw a card. We could damage to a target. Should we kill this Churchill tank? Let's just do it. Annihilator. Why can we not? Oh, jeez. I thought we had enough uh, points to do that. Let's just drop, drop this dude then. That's a sort of backup. And the turn. Okay. You should be doing a lot of damage to us if we want to uh, survive from this. Heavy tank? That's not going to do it. It's a nice tank, don't get me wrong. but Yes, 7 domination damage. And that is the game. Very nice. Oh, the explosives. Victory! We are still level 1. Level 2 now, though. Very good. Okay, so I think that's a, a good overview of what this game is about. Uh, be sure to just uh, download it. It's free to play, so why not, right? It's also available on mobile, as I think I said before. So um, if you'd like to play this on your uh, pad, iPad or something, then that can probably be done as well. I'm not sure if it's free to play there as well, but you might want to check it out. In any case, um, hope you guys liked the video. If so, then uh, don't forget to leave a like. It's going to help me out quite a bit. And if you like uh, the channel, then uh, be sure to check out some of the other stuff as well. And uh, subscribe if you like the channel. That is, of course, right. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.